I've made an amazing discovery. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Don't you think you're selling your amazing discoveries a little bit too hard? Don't you think it'd be better if you called them cool discoveries or okay discoveries or even half decent discoveries? No, but this time it is an amazing discovery. I call it social networking. Social networking. Tell us about social networking. Social networking will one day enable us to create a virtual community that will allow us to maintain contact with each other, even though we may live at great distances from one another. It will revolutionize the way we live. So you're telling me, even if I moved over to the next valley, I'd be able to talk to Goink, Er, Stoink, and even you every day of the week? Yes, 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 that is correct. Crunk, do you know why I would move to that valley over there? No. So I wouldn't have to talk to Goink, Er, Stoink, and you every single day of the week. <laughs> now you go to that valley over there and stay there until you've got this whole social networking thing out of your mind. But I... No buts. Go. Hey, Og. Yes? Look, we're social networking. <laughs> Ow, you poked me. <laughs> and if you lot start on this social networking, I'll unfriend you as well. <laughs> to you, sweet friend. Hello, dear. What can I do for you? I should like a career in show business, good lady. Sorry? Show business. When one is born to, to sing and to dance, as I am, there is no other choice but the theatre. Oh, I don't think I can help you there. What? But the sign outside clearly says that this is an opportunity shop, does it not? Y yes, but... Uh... Then by goodness, that is what I want. The opportunity to, to get into show business. No, the opportunity is to go through the shop and see if you can find something you like. What? But uh, I've already shaved the poodles and tied bells to their wiggly little tails. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, cruel fate, how you mock me. The opportunity to share my greatness with the world now falling through my fingers oh. like sand. <laughs> tut, tut, speak not, kindly old crone, for you have said enough. This setback has cut me to the quick, but it shall not weaken my resolve. I was born for the stage, and as God is my witness, I shall be an actor. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. A standing ovation you shouldn't have. Now I bid you a fond adieu. Hey guys, do you understand the history assignment? Um, at Travis What's So Four, lol. Why don't you join the group Nerds Who Care About History? Hashtag lame. Hey, you can borrow my notes if you want. At Tamara J B, you are so in love with at Travis What's So Four. Hashtag Travis is hot. Shut up. Dislike. We're trying to work here. Dislike. Can you just stop? Dislike. Can you just leave, please? Fail and being unfriended by at Tamara J Bear. Sad face, sad face, sad face, sad okay, face. Okay, you can stay. Just stop talking like that. Like what? Hashtag confused. Like you're online all the time. Hashtag do not. Yeah, you're doing it right now. Hashtag I'm not. You do. Hashtag as if. Private message to at Travis What's So Four. <laughs> at Tamara J Bear is really annoying. You do know she can hear you. She's just there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here. Epic fail. I'm IRL. Uh, set chat to unavailable. Control alt delete. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Do 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 do. <laughs> really, a phone is just become everything else but a phone nowadays, you know? So I just use it for the internet, that sort of stuff, more than I do the actual phone. No, there's no problem with me um, and phones. I'm not a phone addict at all. Uh... Oh, my voicemail's really embarrassing because um, I say, you know, hi, it's Molly, leave a message, but then I didn't know how to end. I didn't know how to stop recording. So it's like, how do I, how do I stop? Is it hash? It's the hashtag. 
that <laughs> so you can just hear me struggling at the end of the, the number. Hey, how's it going? What? No, sorry, I can't hear you. Can you talk up? No, you're breaking. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Leave a message after the beep. Well, the thing with my voicemail is that I haven't bothered to create one yet. So I don't really know what happens to my voicemails. I just see you have like 20 voicemails and then don't really check them. So it'd be exciting to see what happens to them. People that, people that just can't get their heads out of their phones really, um, it's really unnerving. It's really kind of rude. Quick impersonation of me doing Richie Benno and he pretty much guards my message bank. It's just Richie going, uh, welcome back to Hayden's phone. Marvel stay outside, isn't it? So just leave a message and he will get back to you if he can be stuffed. Good night. Hey man, check it. I got me a new tie. Yeah, I also purchased a tie that is also new. Nice man. It's ironic because normally people wear ties with college shirts. Yeah, college shirts because they're office drones. Going to work. <laughs> We don't have jobs, man. Yeah, it's like we're making a big statement against conformity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Paul. That's what they get up. Well, anyone could be ironic by wearing a tie, but I'm being ironic by wearing a tie, carrying a briefcase, and having a highly paid job. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like a big screw you to conformity. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta bounce. An important client lunch. Ciao, boys. Wow. Wow. That was so ironic. Yeah, he's so non-conformist. Yeah. Maybe we should, like, wear collared shirts and, like, get jobs. Yeah. Yeah, that'd show the establishment. Yeah, I feel like a big take back to the establishment. Yeah, wow. Yeah, get it. Wow, check it out. There's an awesome puddle to jump in. But wait, dude, you're wearing thongs. What? In those things, your feet will get wet or you'll slip. Better leave the puddle jumping to me. But wait a minute, you're wearing slippers. Oh, man, my feet will get soggy. I know what we need. We need the new puddle jumpers footwear protectors. Here they are. Puddle jumpers footwear protectors. Now to attach them with the trademark, Puddle Jumpers Power Adhesive. <laughs> Let's go. You're not going to stop us this time, Puddle. <laughs> my slippers are still snug and warm. And my thumbs aren't moist at all. <laughs> Puddle right. Jumpers for Protectors, protectors. by now. now. Teddy on, Teddy on, Teddy on. Just Excuse one, one question, Teddy on. Hi there. As you all know, I'll be attempting to break Jessica Watson's record of youngest person to sail around the world like solo. <laughs> so, do any of you have any, like, questions? Tatiana, what made you want to attempt this record? My mum and dad came up with the idea, actually, and first I was like, mm, I don't know. And then when they said when I get back I'd be, like, heaps famous, I was like, cool. So what preparations have you made for the trip, Tatiana? Well, I had my hair and nails done this morning. Got this cute little outfit, just so cute, you know? And I'm going with this whole, like, nautical theme, because I thought it would, like, go with me, like, sailing around the world and stuff. And what about the boat? I have the best boat. It goes so well with my dress. Won't you get lonely being at sea for so long, Tatiana? No way! My BFF Emma is coming with me. It's gonna be so cool! Hey. <laughs> you do know what solo means, don't you? Yes. <laughs> it means like awesome! Tatiana's solo yachting trip around the world! <laughs> no, solo actually means by yourself, all alone with nobody else. You're gonna have to stay here. See you when I'm famous. <laughs> Text me, BFFs forever. Bye. World record. 
Hmm, I think I could do something involving talking for a really long time or eating for a really long time. I would like to have a world record for the most consecutive hundreds made while playing first grade cricket. That'd be great. It'd be a really good record to have. I need to get to 100 first. Maybe it could be something. I could eat a lot of spring rolls. I could eat spring rolls. That's a unique record. Now, Dracula, you will die. Huh? <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> so, do you guys have like any more questions? Okay, well, I have a few. Can, like, sharks bite boats? And, like, how do I steer that sail thing? Or is like a steering wheel or something? Hello, I'm Bear Cub. Now, we all know how incredibly dull and boring a shopping trip with your mother can be, but it is possible to survive one. And right now, I'm going to show you how. I'm in the tough, unforgiving environment of a local suburban clothes shop. Mum's browsing for shirts for me to try on. If you want to survive, avoiding this mind-numbing experience is crucial. Jeremy? <laughs> As always, I have to improvise. I found this shop store dummy and I fashioned it into a look-alike <gasps> of me. By using it as a decoy, I can leave undetected. I'm over here, Mum, in men's jackets. <laughs> now to make my move. <laughs> By travelling west, I'll be able to circle around the shop, towards the door, and on to freedom. Jeremy, what are you doing? Come on and try these on. No. <laughs> Look at that ugly gorilla. <laughs> Here is the very rare long-armed gorilla. Look, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to suspend the both of you. I mean, you know the rules about biting, and you guys just didn't take a little bite. In some cases, you ate their entire faces off. Yeah, but, sir, we're zombies. And we forgot our lunch. Be that as it may, you can't go around eating other kids' brains. I don't see why not. Don't seem to use them much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're not wrong there, but it is against the rules, so... What if we just eat their legs? No. Well, what about their bottoms? No. No eating human flesh of any kind. Now, look, you boys go home and have a good, hard think about your future. But, sir, we don't have a future. We're dead. Look, I'm sorry. That's my final decision. All right? That'll be all. Hey, I think we should eat his brains. Zach, I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, but let's start with his ears. <laughs> I actually feel really sorry for zombies. I know, the poor things. I just think they're really mistreated. Totally agree. I mean, all they want to do is just live their lives and... Yeah, all they want to do is just eat some brains, tear up some flesh. Well, what's wrong with that? I don't think that, and they're becoming victims of society because of it. I, I mean, what do we even use our brains for? <laughs> Nothing. Exactly right. I think we should do something. I agree. I, yes. We have to do something. Yes, what are we going to do? Uh, fundraising. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's do, like, let's do, like, a whole appeal with, like, banners that say, zombie yourself and let us zombie and... Brains. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah? Um, what about it's instead of a campaign, it's a cam brain? Oh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, right? Okay. Yeah. You're, the, and we'll, you're the brains uh, of the team. Uh, Very good. Don't eat them. And we'll, we'll, we'll set up, we'll have a little festival of the zombie. And people, we can get some celebrities in to do like a TV appeal about it. Yes, then people will actually take notice of it. Yes, and understand kind of the. The struggle that zombies have to overcome. Exactly right. This is going to work. This is going to be a great thing. I'm now inside a clothing store change room. You must get out of here quickly if you're to have any hope of survival. By ripping up these shirts, I've been able to fashion myself a crude rope 
and with this hanger, my grappling hook. <laughs> now I will use these to make my escape. Okay. Oh, okay, now I climb. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> oh, pardon me. That'll be $380. <laughs> not exactly how I planned, but survival's all about improvisation. We're getting out of this dump and not a minute too soon. No more boring hell holes for me. Come on, we're going to your grandma's for lunch. <laughs> Ma, when's dinner? Soon. Your father's just gone to kill the chicken. The tables have turned, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, hundreds and hundreds of zombies are left to roam the streets alone and hungry. Zombies are people just like you and me. They have a heart and a family. Even if that family's dead and that heart has fallen out. We want to make a happier and healthier life for zombies. If we only donate a small amount of money each year, then zombies can integrate with society and get the basic living necessities to live like normal people. All it takes to get these zombies off the street and fed is just a quarter of your brain. How cheap are you, Australia? You only use 10% of your brain anyway. Why not give the rest to the zombie? Please, donate now. You're their only hope. And remember, Zombies are human too. <laughs> Hi, how can I help you? <laughs> That's better. One burger, please. <laughs> An inappropriate joke. <laughs> Ned the Panda always wanted to be an astronaut. He spent hours looking at the stars, wishing he could go into space. But Ned could never be an astronaut because Ned was a panda. <sighs> but one night, something landed in Ned's garden. He couldn't believe it. But suddenly, a strange light hit Ned in the tummy. Ned grew and grew. The meteor had given Ned superpowers. <laughs> this is great, thought Ned. Now I can fly into space. And off he went, higher and higher, past birds and airplanes and even satellites. Until at last he was in space. <gasps> but Ned was a panda who didn't know that space is a vacuum with no air in it. That's why you need to be an astronaut to go into space. The zombies aren't actually getting enough rights, you know. Yeah, everyone looks at us and they're like, wow, look at you, you're a zombie, you're gonna eat me. Well, excuse me. It seems as soon as you die, human rights laws go out the window. Just because we're zombies and we like to eat people doesn't mean all we do is eat people. We're not hungry all the time. Like, we can go out for a latte. I, I could do with eating Margot. Though she looks pretty tasty right now. Yo, yo, man, have we got a treat for you? If you love puddle jumping, then today we're gonna blow your tiny mind with extreme puddle jumping. <laughs> Three puddles in a row. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna freaking do it! <laughs> Yeah! 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 Now it's my turn. Tie me up, Jill. No way! Puddle jumping with his hands tied. <laughs> and feet. Blindfolded. <laughs> Whoa! Let's do it! And I'm very proud to be appointed OHS Prefect by the school committee. 
As you know, here at Jollymont High, we take your health and safety very seriously. <laughs> As part of my campaign to reduce schoolyard injuries, I've decided to ban all <laughs> ball sports, except for on the school oval. <laughs> and only, only, un <laughs> oh. only under the supervision of a teacher. <sighs> Anyone caught with the ball will have it confiscated. and the ball will be returned at the end of the term. Remember, your safety is our concern. Whoa. <laughs> Joe! Joe! Oh, hi. Um, do you want to come to my birthday party on Friday? Will you be there? Yeah, of course. Then no. <laughs> Inappropriate joke! Welcome to Viking High, in which traditionally raised Viking children get a modern education. Today, the young Vikings are learning about maths. Now, if a train travelling 100 kilometres per hour leaves point A at 7.30 a.m., what time will it reach point B 250 kilometres away if it has to stop five times at three minutes each stop? What is this vehicle of which you speak? Is it some kind of ship? Does it bear a figurehead shaped like a dragon? If not, I shan't step foot aboard. Why would we want to go to point B? Is there gold to plunder or huts to burn at point B? Uh, 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 class, class, it's just a hypothetical question to test your problem-solving skills. Well, will we ever face such a problem? Why not ask something relevant? Oh. Right. If a Viking cracks a skull at a rate of five skulls per minute, oh. and there are 250 people in the village being attacked, and we have 15 Vikings in the attacking party, how long until all the skulls are cracked? Yeah. Well, how about this one? If you are setting an enemy crop of flame and the fields measure 100 paces by 100 and the fire burns at 20 paces per minute, how many minutes until we can pee on their ruined hopes and laugh? <laughs> yes. I don't have any questions like that in my textbook. <laughs> <laughs> if the teacher has one stupid textbook and you set it to light and throw it from the window, how many questions does the class have to answer? <laughs> and subtraction. Just one of the many problems facing the students at this most unique of educational facilities, Viking High. Which way to West? Is it like that way or that way? And are there, like, shops out there? Because I need to top up on my mobile and, like, buy some yoghurt and rice crackers. Wait, was I supposed to... 